How is everyone doing today? I assume you can read, but we're going to be doing that bad boy today. I can't prove it because I didn't say it in the video, but I knew this set was going to turn out good. As far as uh, the market goes, you can always disagree with the cards in it and there's not a million bajillion dollars worth of crap in it. Oh my goodness, I cannot open this as easy as I thought I could. But we got it. <laughs> so I knew this set was going to be, well, I knew it wasn't going to be badly received because it's smaller. It's hell, it's different. Uh, but I knew the single card value would be up there. And then the box prices obviously would have to be there. But this is weird. Foil packs. You don't see that every time, which I think is kind of funny. I wonder when they decide to use foil packs. These are thin. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's kind of nuts to me. We'll see how we do. Obviously, we're looking for Nissa Halo foils. So hopefully I don't blow my Halo foils on some, some jank. But here we go. How are y'all liking this set? Are y'all liking it? I, um, I just like good cards. Wow, so we only get two uncommons. And then a Narset. Suvian Drifter and Plargle. How's everyone uh, liking this set? I know some of the cards, Narset's got to be like 15 bucks right now, I think. But uh, a lot of mixed reviews. Obviously, everyone wants the Nissa. I think the cards in it are pretty good. Oh, I talked about this card on my uh, my video. I'll put that over there just so I uh, know where it goes. Yeah. I remember this was the first card. Oh, there's a Halo Foil. Plarg. Oh, that's a rare. But, uh, oh. Okay. Uh, that card was the first spoiler card. I have a feeling it uh, does not cost that much anymore. I have a feeling it's gone quite down. That's just my guess. Uh, Halo Foil Uncommon. I wonder if that takes away from... Oh. In case I wanted to build Mono White Human. Ooh, that training grounds actually turned out pretty good. I like that. I think that's that's pretty. Scavengers. Danatha and the Spark Rupture. I thought that might have been a mythic. Training grounds is rare? It is. Training grounds is in fact a rare. I kinda like this. Less bulk, but more good cards. I mean, we haven't hit anything on the top 10 list yet as far as strictly the prices go. Another, it's going to give me a playset. I swear it is. Rocco. <laughs> okay. Okay, man. All right. I'll bite. I'll bite. Awesome. Mythic? I think that's only our second Mythic, and we got Narset and Nissa. Is that our only other Mythic? We got two Mythics? Wow. But I mean, <laughs> can't ask for a better hit. I have no idea how much this is going for right now. It's got to be minimum 50 bucks, I think, for that version. Like I, I'm not well-versed, but I, I, I think this product is, is neat. I like that it had a lower price point. I think if it had the same price point, and they just printed a bunch of, you know, a lot less. Other training grounds. A lot less, it wouldn't be nearly as received. Or like, I mean, it would have been absolutely a dumpster fire if that was the case. But I don't really have a complaint with this style of uh, printing. Um, it, certainly they need to boost the card power level uh, to sort of justify it. But another herb org. Metropolis. Dranth Ruins. This one is actually, um, I know the Halo Foil for that is like 20 bucks. I have no idea how much the normal is. I'll grab two packs. How many do we got left? So this one marks halfway through the box, or last one, depending on how you view halfway. Tolarian, Undercity. 
Here is resolve. I heard I saw this in a video. This one looked like it did something. Another Draineth. Hopefully Ooh. Come on now. Ooh, and another and Kiora. Come on though. I got three different versions of the same rare in my box. That's crazy. I'll put that Ala foil right there. Just my rare pile. This one actually is worth more than I thought it would be. This one? Uh, maybe I just misread it. I don't really know exactly what it does. But I, I feel like I looked at it and I wasn't that impressed. Maybe I was just being a hater. Ooh, Sarkon. Just the normal dude. I like that. I actually do like that. Mythic. Tazri. Deification. And the, it wouldn't be... <laughs> I guess that happens in normal boxes. It was bound to happen in uh, the one that doesn't have much other cards in it. Oh, there's grouping. Uh, you know, Nessa, you want to give us a two-peat? That'd be pretty awesome. Tyvar. Wow, they really did good on the art, this one. I feel, I feel, I feel like the art's never bad in a Magic product. But at the same time... They, it's like they either do better or worse. And I got my playset. That's awesome. I got my I got my playset. Calyx. Oh. I have no idea that's good. We got six mythics so far. And a couple Halo foils. A handful of uh, seemingly expensive cards so far. Fill her out. Pretty. It's a card to look out for. I didn't know it was uncommon when I saw it. Nashy. Deification. Ooh. Halo foil. Ooh. Hoo 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 hoo. Let me read this card. I feel like this is a good card and I'm just not paying attention to it. Flying me, look at the top card of your library at any time. During the at the beginning of each combat, you may reveal the top card of your library. If you reveal a creature card this way, it becomes a ooh. Wow, well, that is actually kind of sick. You could do some crazy things with Top of the library shenanigans. I mean, your deck has enough cool creatures. It might just hit one on its own. <laughs> Go for that lottery. Oh, I thought the way that the foil on it... It looked mythic. Like that, didn't doesn't it? <laughs> I thought it was... I was like, what? Open the way. Ooh, Karn. Dang, we're kind of steamrolling now. Through the, I have no idea about most of these cards' prices. I didn't even bother. Last pack. I didn't even bother to really read up on it. They'll change a thousand times. <laughs> They'll change a thousand times over. Before this video is over. Karn went to zero, and then it went to 20. And then it went back to zero. And then it went to negative one. They would pay you to take it. And then it will go to 50. So... I actually really like this. This is the Four Dragons of Tarkir showcase, I guess. I really like that. Hmm, Sigarda. Ooh, Narset and Danatha. So, wow. I mean, if we're going off of what a standard box looks like, that's a good bit of Mythics right there. Got a bunch of rares. I actually... As someone that will probably resell a lot of this. I am actually really happy that I don't have just a shit ton of bulk. Say what you will about the mini set. I like it. I'm going to... Interesting. Just want to get all of my uncommons that I think are pretty cool. I think these uncommons are pretty cool. That one's Halo Foil. Copper coat. Uh, don't really give a shit about tokens. To be honest with you. That foiling on the Mystical Archive. I think they changed it. I think this is different. Interesting. Yeah, I think these uncommons are pretty cool. Oh yeah, Copper Coat Vanguard. This is my... I sort of looked through it. There's so many different arts. So many different. Foil etched. But wow, let's look at our um, bigger hit side. I don't remember how much I bought.
bought this for exactly I believe like 130 I got this for 140 somewhere between them don't really remember but we got one two three four five six the best one seven eight nine mythics and we got three rare halo foil cards that's just wow i think that was a good box let me know what y'all think did i get hosed i like to think i didn't but uh, oh yeah my point of saying what i got the box for it skyrocketed last time i looked on excuse me on tcg it's like 166 bucks like the next day i was like what the heck i couldn't believe my eyes i wonder if it'll come back down or that's just it but yeah i got the nissa that's gonna be a thumbnail her going cheese but <laughs> yeah man i hope you uh liked it thanks for sticking around this long if you did um like subscribe do all the good things and i'll catch you on the next one